Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video I want to show you some strategies for children to learn the addition facts. And we will start with this very nice um, exercise, if you want to call it that. Uh, here I drew it for sums with seven. And um, basically I have grouped seven balls in different ways. Here are seven in this group, zero in that group. Total is seven. Here are six in one group, one in the other, total seven. Here five and two. And lastly four and three. Those are all the ways, all the different ways you can group seven balls in two groups. And uh, children really love doing this kind of exercise and you can do it, give it to them in two ways. First, like it was, uh, where the balls are drawn and the children write the additions. And the second way is that the additions are drawn and children will draw the balls. And for example, my daughters have really liked doing these kind of worksheets that they have in my books. And while they are doing this several times, they start to memorize some addition facts and they see the structure and they see a pattern. Here's a definite pattern because each time you have one less in this number and one more in this one. Next one I want to show you the famous 9 trick. Here it is. 9 plus some other number. Imagine that the 9 wants to be 10. It's not happy with it itself. It wants to be 10 and wants to become a 10. So it's gonna go and steal or take one from the other number. Like this. 1 from the 6. And so 9 becomes 10. And now 6 only has 5 left. And then we add 10 plus 5, which is very easy to add. It is just, you just take 1 and 5 here, write them next to each other. 15. The same trick, of course you will use it with 9 plus 9, 9 plus 3, 9 plus 2, 9 plus 4, anything. It even works for 29 plus 6 or 39 plus 5 and those. But we can also use a similar trick with 8. Just imagine that 8 wants to be 10. And so it's not satisfied being 8, it wants to be 10, it steals or takes 2 from the other number. And so it becomes 10 and 4 in this case just becomes 2, 2 left. And then we add 10 plus 2 which is 12. The doubles are usually studied in all math books. 3 plus 3 equals 6, 4 plus 4 equals 8, 5 plus 5 equals 10, 6 plus 6 equals 12, and so on. And those children need to memorize. But once they have memorized the doubles, they can then learn or know some other addition facts. Here's one. 3 plus 3 equals 6, but 3 plus 4 is just one more. It's like the doubles and one more. 3 plus 4 is 7. 3 is the same, 4 is just one more than 3, so the answer is one more than 6. Here's another example. 4 plus 4, but then we make another addition fact, it's just one more. 4 plus 5, or could be 5 plus 4, of course, too. And here, 7 plus 7 equals 14, but 7 plus 8 is just one more than that, so it's 15. But that's not all. There's yet another type of addition fact we can get from the doubles. And that is thinking of 3 and 3. Think that 1 from the 3 goes to the other 3. So that here this becomes 2 and this 3 becomes 4. And the sum is the same, 6. Okay, here 4 and 4. If you take 1 from this 4 and put it to this other 4, you get 3 and 5, and equals 8. And here, if you take 1 from the 7 and give it to the other 7, then it is 6 plus 8 equals 14. And so on. For each double fact, you have that kind of fact. And you can also notice that these three numbers, 3 and 5, or 6 and 8, or 2 and 4, they always differ by 2. The difference is just 2. So you can 
use that to recognize such facts. For example, 7 plus 9 is another one such, because 7 and 9 differ just by 2. So you could switch this fact to become one of the doubles fact. It becomes 8 plus 8, or has the same sum, 16. Now, once you have gone through these kind of strategies with the students, then it's time to try some random drill. Not before. I don't like starting with random drill, but going through concepts and strategies. And then we arrive at random drill, but first we do it in the structure of the table itself. This is an addition table for seven. And uh, first, now the student already probably knows how to calculate many of these quickly, like they might know this by heart and know this, oh, it's going to be one more. They can see this is going to be two more than the doubles fact, and so on. So we will drill randomly like this. The, the teacher will just point to a problem and say it. 7 plus 2, and then 7 plus 8, and then 7 plus 5, 7 plus 1 in random order. So then it drills the addition facts, yet it has this support structure, so to speak, for the student. And after this, after the student has mastered addition facts in this format, then it's time for truly random drill with flashcards or something like that.